It actually blows my mind. It's something that we've wanted for four seasons and to actually get an individual there, it's it's almost surreal in a way. I mean, it just, it really does. It feels so good uh, to have this type of moment and, and much, much, much more than that to have go and be the one that's that's shining at the end of the day. I think uh, if you if you look up what Division Two means and really dig into the philosophy, I think that Goen is the absolute perfect example of what it means to be a Division Two student athlete. Um, she came her freshman year and, uh, you know, amazing young lady, really, really great story, some adversity in her background that she's completely overcome, and she is a totally different person than when she arrived here four years ago. Uh, the level of maturity that she shows, uh, being a captain on the squad and on the golf course is unbelievable, but way more than that, she's just a great person, I think, and and I, I'll, I don't know that I'll find another person that's the same type of character. Um, that she shows day in and day out. So for her to have this moment just means everything to me. I am thrilled and honored to be the first one to uh, from St. Leo to go to the Nationals Championship. You know, that was our starting goal four years ago when I was freshman, when Coach Fitton first came in. Um, you know, both of us said to the Nationals, let's go to Nationals. And, uh, and it took us four years to get here and uh, I am very excited to go and and represent the school and the team to uh, and play well up there. And, you know, I wish the whole team was going with me, you know, to support each other. But um, I'll definitely go out there and do my work. <laughs> you know, it's nice with live scoring now. You get to, to know exactly where it is. But as a coach, it's very stressful as well. So knowing that she just needed three pars to make nationals and, and trying to keep all the emotion that I was feeling inside and, and not stress her out and try to let her have absolutely no clue where she stood so that she would just continue to perform the way that she had performed for three days um, was very stressful for me. But um, in the moment, that 50 foot two putt on 18, uh, I couldn't even watch the first putt. I, my eyes were shut the entire time and I opened them up and she had lagged it in there nicely to about two feet. And I thought, my gosh, like this is gonna happen for her. and and just the pride that I felt for her was was unbelievable. I came and put into words and um, really there were no words. She made the putt and uh, I think that I kind of said everything with a smile and I think she I think she kind of had it figured out. I knew that uh, the girl that I was playing with, um, she was one stroke ahead of me uh, the, after the second round and um, I knew that I had good chance uh, of going to nationals if I had, had a better round than her on the third day. After 15th hole, I was one. I was two over. I made a bogey on number 15. And, uh, I told myself I got to birdie out a couple of these holes so that I can move on. And um, on number 16, coach came in and, and uh, I told coach that I need to really birdie one of these holes. And she told me, okay, but you know, let's try to uh, par out at least. So I told her yes. And number 16, I had about 40 footer putt. I looked at the putt. I told the coach, I'm going to make this. And I made it. It was unbelievable. And um, <laughs> it was actually, it was surprising at the same time. And number 17, I parred. Number 18, I had to par out. And it was very, very long putt. I putt my first one and I uh, ended up being four footer. And uh, on my last putt, I decided, I told myself, calm down. It's just, it's just another putt. You're gonna be fine. Just trust your line and hit it, and that's what I did, and ended up in the hole. So I was very happy, and I knew what it meant, but I didn't want to jinx it, and uh, it wasn't an official, uh, official score. So I, uh, I was praying, but um, as soon as it was official, I gave her a big hug, and it was a very emotional moment for both of us. The fact that we, we did it, you know goal was to get to nationals as a team and while we were only two strokes shy of that and as, as tough as that was to swallow I think if anything it has served as such a huge motivation for those returning girls now they know it now they believe it they know that they can so I would anticipate unbelievable firepower coming back at the at the end of summer these girls are hungry and they want it more than anything um, as far as going 
the balance that she's able to show all spring with her work schedule, her internship, uh, her uncanny ability to network both on campus and in the community. I mean, again, she is D2. I am looking forward to go out there and have fun. I mean, this, this is literally the last, last tournament of my college career. And, um, and I would like to really represent the school well and uh, go out there and, and play hard. I want. This message is for the whole athletic department. I just want to say thank you so much for all the opportunities that you guys have presented to me. Um, it, it's been unbelievable for me, you know, for the last four years. There was up and downs in my life, but um, every staff, Mike Ferrant, Mr. Reedy, coach, everybody were there for me uh, when I needed the help. And, um, you know, I mean, I'm away from South Korea, from my parents, my brother, but you know, you guys were all there to support me and I would really like to say thank you very much for creating my uh, memories and my life, my, my last four years of life, very interesting, thank you.